In mathematical analysis, Lipschitz continuity, named after Rudolf Lipschitz, is a strong form of uniform continuity for functions. Intuitively, a Lipschitz continuous function is limited in how fast it can change. There exists a definite real number such that, for every pair of points on the graph of this function, the absolute value of the slope of the line connecting them is not greater than this real number. This bound is called a Lipschitz constant of the function. For instance, every function that has bounded first derivatives is Lipschitz. In the theory of differential equations, Lipschitz continuity is the central condition of the Picard-Lindelof theorem which guarantees the existence and uniqueness of the solution to an initial value problem. A special type of Lipschitz continuity, called contraction, is used in the Banach fixed point theorem. We have the following chain of inclusions for functions over a closed and bounded subset of the real line continuously differentiable Lipschitz. Continuous alpha holder continuous uniformly continuous continuous where 0 less than alpha 1. We also have Lipschitz continuous absolutely continuous bounded variation differentiable almost everywhere definitions. Given two metric spaces and where dx denotes the metric on the set x and dy is the metric on set y equals y1 minus y2 and x might be a subset of R, a function f. X, Y is called Lipschitz continuous if there exists a real constant K0 such that, for all X1 and X2 in X, any such K is referred to as a Lipschitz constant for the function F. The smallest constant is sometimes called the Lipschitz constant, however in most cases the latter notion is less relevant. If k equals 1 the function is called a short map, and if 0 k less than 1 of the function is called a contraction. The inequality is satisfied if x1 equals x2. Otherwise, one can equivalently define a function to be Lipschitz continuous if and only if there exists a constant k0 such that, for all x1 x2, for real-valued functions of several real variables, this holds if and only if the absolute value of the slopes of all secant lines are bounded by k. The set of lines of slope k passing through a point on the graph of the function forms a circular cone. And a function is Lipschitz if and only if the graph of the function everywhere lies completely outside of this cone. A function is called locally Lipschitz continuous if for every x in x there exists a neighborhood u of x such that f restricted to u is Lipschitz continuous. Equivalently, if x is a locally compact metric space, then f is locally Lipschitz if and only if it is Lipschitz continuous on every compact subset of x. In spaces that are not locally compact, this is a necessary but not a sufficient condition. More generally, a function f defined on x is said to be holder continuous or to satisfy a holder condition of order alpha greater than zero on x if there exists a constant m greater than zero such that for all x and y in x. Sometimes a holder condition of order alpha is also called a uniform Lipschitz condition of order alpha greater than zero. If there exists a k1 with then f is called by Lipschitz. A by Lipschitz mapping is injective and is in fact a homeomorphism onto its image. A by Lipschitz function is the same thing as an injective Lipschitz function whose inverse function is also Lipschitz. Examples Lipschitz continuous functions the function f equals square root x2 plus 5 defined for all real numbers is Lipschitz continuous with the Lipschitz constant k equals 1, because it is everywhere differentiable and the absolute value of the derivative is bounded above by 1. See the first property listed below under properties. Likewise, the sine function is Lipschitz continuous because its derivative, the cosine function, is bounded above by 1 in absolute value. The function f equals x, defined on the rails as Lipschitz continuous with the Lipschitz constant equal to 1, by the reverse triangle inequality. 
This is an example of a Lipschitz continuous function that is not differentiable. More generally, a norm on a vector space is Lipschitz continuous with respect to the associated metric, with the Lipschitz constant equal to 1. Lipschitz continuous functions that are not everywhere differentiable the function f equals x. Continuous functions that are not Lipschitz continuous the function f equals square root x defined on 0, 1 is not Lipschitz continuous. This function becomes infinitely steep as x approaches 0 since its derivative becomes infinite. However, it is uniformly continuous as well as Holder continuous of class EO, alpha for alpha 1 half. Differentiable functions that are not Lipschitz continuous the function f equals by 3 halves sin where x 0 and f equals 0, restricted on 0, 1, gives an example of a function that is differentiable on a compact set while not locally Lipschitz because its derivative function is not bounded. See also the first property below. Analytic functions that are not Lipschitz continuous the exponential function becomes arbitrarily steep as x infinity, and therefore is not globally Lipschitz continuous, despite being an analytic function. The function f equals x2 with domain all real numbers is not Lipschitz continuous. This function becomes arbitrarily steep as x approaches infinity. It is however locally Lipschitz continuous. Properties An everywhere differentiable function g, r r, is Lipschitz continuous, if and only if it has bounded first derivative one direction follows from the mean value theorem. In particular, any continuously differentiable function is locally Lipschitz. As continuous functions are locally bounded so its gradient is locally bounded as well. Ellipschitz function g, r r is absolutely continuous and therefore is differentiable almost everywhere, that is, differentiable at every point outside a set of Lebesgue gay measure zero. Its derivative is essentially bounded in magnitude by the Lipschitz constant, and for a less than b. The difference g minus g is equal to the integral of the derivative g on the interval a, b. Conversely, if f, i r is absolutely continuous and thus differentiable almost everywhere, and satisfies f, k for almost all x in i, then f is Lipschitz continuous with Lipschitz constant at most k. More generally, Radomacher's theorem extends the differentiability result to Lipschitz mappings between Euclidean spaces. A Lipschitz map f, u room, where u is an open set in Rn, is almost everywhere differentiable. Moreover, if k is the best Lipschitz constant of f, then whenever the total derivative df exists, for a differentiable Lipschitz map f, u room the inequality holds for the best Lipschitz constant of f, and it turns out to be an equality if the domain u is convex. Suppose that Fn is a sequence of Lipschitz continuous mappings between two metric spaces, and that all Fn have Lipschitz constant bounded by some k. If Fn converges to a mapping F uniformly, then F is also Lipschitz, with Lipschitz constant bounded by the same k. In particular, this implies that the set of real-valued functions on a compact metric space with a particular bound for the Lipschitz constant is a closed and convex subset of the Banach space of continuous functions. This result does not hold for sequences in which the functions may have unbounded Lipschitz constants. However, in fact, the space of all Lipschitz functions on a compact metric space is dense in the Banach space of continuous functions. An elementary consequence of the stone weirs trass theorem, every Lipschitz continuous map is uniformly continuous, and hence a fortiori continuous. More generally, a set of functions with bounded Lipschitz constant forms and a quick continuous set. The R. zeller Ascoli theorem implies that if Fn is a uniformly bounded sequence of functions with bounded Lipschitz constant, then it has a convergent subsequence. By the result of the previous paragraph the limit function is also Lipschitz, with the same bound for the Lipschitz constant. In particular the set of all real-valued Lipschitz functions on a compact metric space X having Lipschitz constant K is a locally compact convex 
subset of the Banach space C. For a family of Lipschitz continuous functions f alpha with common constant, the function is Lipschitz continuous as well, with the same Lipschitz constant, provided it assumes a finite value at least at a point. If U is a subset of the metric space M and F, U R is a Lipschitz continuous function. There always exist Lipschitz continuous maps M R which extend F and have the same Lipschitz constant as F. An extension is provided by where K is a Lipschitz constant for F on U. Lipschitz manifolds. Let U and V be two open sets in R N. A function T, UV is called by Lipschitz if it is a Lipschitz homeomorphism onto its image, and its inverse is also Lipschitz. Using by Lipschitz mappings, it is possible to define a Lipschitz structure on a topological manifold. Since there is a pseudo group structure on by Lipschitz homeomorphisms, this structure is intermediate between that of a piecewise linear manifold and a smooth manifold. In fact a place structure gives rise to a unique Lipschitz structure, it can in that sense nearly be smoothed. One-sided Lipschitz. Let f be an upper semi-continuous function of x, and that f is a closed, convex set for all x. Then f is one-sided Lipschitz if for some c for all x1 and x2. For example the function has Lipschitz constant k equals 50 and a one-sided Lipschitz constant c equals 0. An example which is one-sided Lipschitz but not Lipschitz continuous is, with c equals 0.